10 years out on the financial crisis, we still don't have the infrastructure perhaps to prevent the next one. And I think this is where digital assets can really help because an efficient digital asset uh, can really solve um, some of the key problems in global liquidity. You know, the world's got trillions and trillions of dollars tied up in liquidity just to get around how clunky the movement of value is around the world. Crypto.com have just put a daily trading limit on XRP. Shit's getting serious, people. There's a lot of bad projects out there and shaking them out of the space is, is not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of those projects are awash with money and so they're taking away talent. And um, those people now, you know, are gonna look around for, uh, we would hope for projects, you know, we've been doing fantastic with recruiting lately. Because you take the red coin, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. If you got a bag, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news, no breakfast, no coffee, just straight it's extra, bad, bad. extra foolishness. Shout out to the latest sub, Clyde Harvey in the building. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Go ahead, throw on those pilot shades and buckle up because the future is extra, extra bullish. Let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse we got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 970 billion down about 1.3 percent in the past 24 hours but we got xrp looks like one of the only cryptos here green all across the boards 2.4 percent in the past hour 2.2 in the past 24 34 percent in the past seven days xrp two for a dollar we got btc right under 19k eth right under 1300 and we got stellar xlm in the number 27 spot right under 12 cents up about 0.9 in the past hour down about 0.7 in the past 24. according to the update shared by ripple enthusiasts and former federal prosecutor james k Filon, attorney bethan jones has filed an application to appear and join the ripple labs defense team attorney jones is with kellogg hansen ripple got the a team we got the evidence get those jumpsuits get those jail cells ready Ripple sees strong addition to his legal team once again. XRP will win the lawsuit, giving clarity to XRP. Mark my words, SEC will take a big fat L. Cointelegraph sat down with Ripple CTO Joe Katz at NFT NYC to discuss the current state of crypto and its potential impact on Web3 and creators. First stop, Ripple House. I'm here with David Schwartz, the CTO of Ripple. Hi, David. Hi, Rachel. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Always a pleasure. And today we're at the Ripple House in New York. Any thoughts on the current market and how that may be impacting Web3 and NFT creators? It's a mixed bag. So the disadvantages are very obvious, like it's choking out venture capital. And justifiably so, bad projects shouldn't get easy access to venture capital. That's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, but it's also discouraging people from being interested in the space. And you get a little bit of a brain drain. So like, I'm not going to go into anything connected to crypto because that might be a dying industry. Like nobody wants three years of experience in a, you know, no one new to a job wants three years of experience in a field that might that they fear might go away or that they're hearing negative things about. So that's kind of the obvious disadvantage. Is. On the plus side, there's a lot of bad projects out there and shaking them out of the space is, is not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of those projects are awash with money and so they're taking away talent. And um, those people now you know, are going to look around for, uh, we would hope, for you know, what we've been doing fantastic with recruiting lately because these projects are shedding some of their most talented developers or some of the first ones who are like, why would I be working on this thing that's just not realistic? Like in a, in a market that's shooting up, everything seems like a good idea. So I think it's, it's, it, it has not been as bad for us as it's been for some others in space, and it hasn't been all negative, I think, for the space as a whole. Right, for sure. Wonderful. Well, thank you, David. My pleasure. The talent pool is moving over to the Ripple net. They know what's coming. XRP interoperability will be key. James K. Fallon, the SEC's argument, as I interpret it, we aren't saying that the XRP is a security per se. What we are saying is that any purchase of XRP as a matter of economic reality is an investment in a common enterprise with other XRP holders in Ripple. Whether it's through horizontal commonality or strict vertical commonality, it's an investment contract in a common enterprise with other XRP holders in Ripple. So while XRP may not be a security per se, there's other possible ways to offer or sell XRP except as a security. And when you realize what the SEC is saying, no matter how it's framed, 
The judgment that the SEC wants is one that incorporates secondary sales. See the screenshot below where the SEC uses words such as purchase and all units. First, the undisputed facts show that as a matter of economic reality, a purchase of XRP is an investment in a common enterprise with all other XRP holders and Ripple. All units of XRP are fungible with each other and the price of all units of XRP rise or fall equally. Moreover, starting. John D. and even without the amici brief, XRP holders have already had a major impact on the SEC versus Ripple case, putting a dent in the case. As I'm reading the SEC's motion for summary judgment a third time in preparation for our amici brief, wanted to say thanks to all the thousands of XRP holders who sworn, who have signed the sworn affidavits. We submitted over 2,500 affidavits to Ripple and the SEC testifying as to why and how people acquired XRP some including non-investment reasons, whether they knew anything about Ripple when they acquired XRP, how they utilized XRP, the XRPL, and the use of the DEX. XRP were coming. Liquidity crisis aversion, Chris Larson, XRP community. 10 years out on the financial crisis, we still don't have the infrastructure perhaps to prevent the next one. And I think this is where digital assets can really help because an efficient digital asset uh, can really solve um, some of the key problems in global liquidity. You know, the world's got trillions and trillions of dollars tied up in liquidity just to get around how clunky the movement of value is around the world. If with a really efficient digital asset, something like XR XRP, and that's what we believe will be the, the, the most efficient, um, you can now reduce trillions and trillions of capital from being tied up. So you can make those transfers instantly as a bank or as a payment provider or as an enterprise without having to have money pre-positioned all over the world. Keep the eye on the prize, unlocking trillions, saving billions, minting the new crypto A couple of days after the suit against Ripple drops, Arrington, who is a Brad Garland House best friend, tweets this. They had already known that there was something shady going around ETH. I bet they never thought in a million years that the XRP community would blow it wide open. Vitalik Buterin says, okay, can you guys stop trading? David Schwartz playing with some more AI, says a lost Van Gogh has been discovered. Big Brad Garland house. For all the Trump and Van Gogh fans out there, here's Trump just out of the frame in the Mona Lisa. XRP daily trading limit on crypto.com. Let's see how it's going in the next few months. XRP daily trading limit. They don't want you with those big utility bags. Hello, hello, hello. What have we got in it? Crypto.com have just put a daily trading limit on XRP. Shit's getting serious, people. 24 hours ago, you could buy as much XRP as you wanted through Crypto.com. Now they're limiting, limiting you to 982,353 XRP per day. Now, I know a lot of you won't be able to afford that kind of money, but the fact that they've put a daily trading limit on it tells me that things are starting to get real. Extra, extra. Bullish. Hold up while you still got some time. Tick tock. Tick tock. Ray Fuentes, we got the Schwarzenegger. The Schwarzenegger says, bring the FUD. We got the evidence. Get the gel cells. Get those jumpsuits ready. Bitcoin has no future as a payment network, says FTX chief. Ripple and XRP will do well in payments. All roads lead to the bridge. Interoperability will be key. First, we have the Internet of Information. Now, welcome to the new standard, the Internet of Value, the XRP ledger. The whole world is racing forward with crypto while the United States is held back by one power-hungry, arrogant bureaucrat at the SEC who's more worried about his legacy than his country and its standing in the world. Binance off to work in Dubai, largest exchange in the world, dazzled with the laser show at the tallest building in the world. Rockets ready to fly. Get those bags packed, locked and loaded, off the exchanges into your own self-custody wallet. Know what you hold, BYOB, be your own bank. Riz XRP snapshot of the cryptocurrency market cap 1220. XRP sat at number three. Today it's at number six, even with the lawsuit FUD, the SEC. Let's see where this will be when the lawsuit is over. We're coming for that top spot. Eye on the prize. James Rule XRP, although Ripple utilizes XRP and XRP Ledger in its product offering, XRP is independent of Ripple. The XRP Ledger is decentralized and more decentralized over time open source and operates on what's known as a consensus protocol. And while there are well over 100 known use cases for the XRP and the XRP ledger, the king of utility, Ripple leverages XRP for its use in its product suite because of XRP's suitability for cross-border payments. Key characteristics of XRP include its speed, scalability, energy efficiency, 
cost efficiency, all of which benefits consumers and helps reduce friction in the market for cross-border payments. No middleman snatching up any fees. Pool Diet break in official announcement for the Morningstar of Japan, a subsidiary of SBI Holdings to distribute 2,500 XRP to each intermediate shareholder. 2,500 XRP will get you in the top 10%. September 22nd, 2022, Japan ready to set XRP on fire. Overnight, as I said, 31-12-123, October 27th. September till December, positive sentiment. October moon, November bigger moon. December will be dark. January end game. No dates, only my triple seven day. January 2023. The rest of the above is the time when we will see action. May, September on December. Remember, in between we collapse. But October moon, November moon, dark December into pump overnight. One, two, three. XRP, the SEC case, we got the liquidity coming. The SEC case is game over. XRP investors, those who hold, who have eyes on the prize, know what's coming. King Doggo, XRP is consolidating very well. Remember when it used to pump and dump after a day? Looks like that's old news. Next target, 60 cents. One hour update, XRP, symmetrical triangle breaking out from the upper trend line indicates the start of a new bullish trend. A symmetrical triangle to be called bullish. The movement proceedings, the triangle's formation must be bullish. Enjoy the show. Laws of attraction, nice hourly breakout, XRP versus BTC. Is this the mother of all bull runs we've been waiting for? XRP setting up for that next face melting massive pump. Where will you be when that rocket lifts off? And with that being said, Ripple strongly believes that the United States can and should be a leader in the digital asset space. However, regulation by enforcement, the preferred approach of the U.S. regulators, has served only to wreak havoc in the digital asset currency marketplace, hurting consumers and the industry alike. Clear regulatory frameworks must be established if the United States hopes to retain its position as a global leader, as well as a deep pool of talent that could be well encouraged to build and scale their businesses in foreign jurisdictions that have acted more decisively in the space. Also remember, Ripple decided to fight the fight here versus the SEC. We got the A-team. We got the tech. We got the evidence. Get the jumpsuits. Get the jail cells ready. But meanwhile, the rest of the world is plugged in, ready to go. Are you plugged in? In general, you would like to hold XRP until the SEC news gets hotter because that's the kind of narrative it has. And that's the one factor in me wanting to buy this thing and me actually looking at it for so long. If they win the trial, I think it's just going to giga moon. Basically, if that goes, a lot of people will buy back in mass FOMO. I will sell into that pump if I get it. I think that this level, you either sell here 50 cents or you don't sell here. I think your target 90 cents. I think those are the realistic targets. If you get positive news on the SEC trial, you don't want to be left selling. You want to be selling into the very high prices double digits, triple digits, or until the momentum dries up, which I don't think will happen anytime soon. The price of XRP has been on the rise after both Ripple and the SEC filed motions for a summary judgment. The move essentially asked the judge to pick a side and end the trial without going to a jury. XRP, this may be your last time to load up. Where will you be 2023 when those rockets take flight? The longer it takes, the more we get. The higher we climb on that XRP rich list, XRP, all roads lead to interoperability. Where will you be when that rocket lifts off? We'll catch you up here at the tippy top. I am the XRP bagman, the moon commander currently up here on the mothership, bag, stuffing bag. some bags and enjoying the show. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up that bag. XRP. Don't forget to spread that liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe, drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands, drop a comment down below, drop an elbow on that like button from the top floor. And we'll catch you up here. Top roof on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB, bring your own bag, be your own bank. Peace out, crypto ghost.